Guys, this is Mark Fan 309. Today, with another video. I don't know what that noise is, hold on a sec. Gotta do something. I don't know if this is any better. Not better, not better. Okay, that's good enough. But, um, today, we will be doing a review on the NECA. Yeah, NECA review. Wow. But, um, NECA. The T54 got to work. Sorry for your noise. Something's going on when my tripod makes weird noises. I'm going to have to get a better view. So just excuse this. I'm just going to hold the camera. If that's better. Okay. So. Articulation is going to take forever to do. So I'm just going to do the basics. You know, arms move. The legs move. And the feet can move, the arms can move, you know, what you'd expect from a NECA. Head can rotate all the way around, jaw can open, and you can move the head by itself also. It's just a little hard. That's better. If you could see, there's a DVD right there. It's called The Final Wars. But, um, so yeah, you can, the head can move by itself, which is really stiff, and because this thing's here, your neck piece it's a little hard to move but you can get it to move um yeah the fingers can move which is kind of cool i guess maybe it looks a little weird this moves and the arm can move the same thing with this one so i'm not gonna do that this it has a bendy wire for the tail which looks crappy i'm just saying this paint job looks crappy but then, yeah, this is the whole tail. The whole tail doesn't articulate. This can articulate right here. Out there. Oops, it is not again. Sorry about that. But, um, this can, it, it tricks you into thinking this can rotate. Right here, it doesn't. Either does this. It's, dang, I hate this stupid thing. But, um, not, not the figure, but that. It keeps falling over. There's only four points of articulation in the tail. This, 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 and this. So it's basically a cylinder. But, um, well, next we'll go into paint job. The paint job on the spikes is pretty good, I guess. Not really when it comes down to here, though. Over here and down here are pretty crappy. Like right here, it's terrible. I don't know what they did. But they just kind of did two lines, the whole thing. It just looks a piece of crap. Going up, this is okay right here. But then you get up here. Ew, this looks gross. This paint job right here. And I recall not having, like, all the spikes, like, on the top of his head are never really painted. They're always just no color. And that's how it's supposed to be. But I don't know why they colored it in. Like, right here in the sides, they colored some of that in. It's weird. Next, we, well, probably because you couldn't tell because it was all in black and white. This paint job is mostly the same. We got the whole figure. And um, I'm going to go on a sculpt. The sculpt is really good. It looks a lot like the 54. Um, I don't really have a problem with it. It looks like 54. Um, yeah, so the SH Monster Arts 1 looks like a, uh, like, the creature, like a creature. But this one looks like a guy in a suit. Which I like guy in a suit better. Because that's what he is. He's a guy in a suit. See all the wrinkles and everything? It just looks really good. Sculpt is amazing. Petra, let's go on to this. The neck is weird. It's a weird thing right here. With, I'll show you. The SH Monster did not, SH Monster doesn't do that with this weird neck, which I don't like that because then it stops the articulation. And it looks like crap. Sorry if there's voices in the background. This is my parents. Sorry about that, but um, so here's is a yes, it's monster and SH monster. You see the difference with what they do here and what they do. This looks better when it comes to that. Oh, I hate when I hate doing that. But, um, I'll put that on back on later. So, so another thing that's I'll have to say about this figure that I don't really like. Are the um? There's no highlights on this guy. I don't 
know why I didn't do that. Like right here, and right here, and right here. It should have been highlights. Like what the heck are, what are they doing? Look, I'll show you the quick, I'll show you. The uh, Creations Wave 9 version got it right. The yeah, newer Wave Creations one. They got it right. Look. Right here. Kneecaps. Right here. There is a... There are highlights. Highlights up here. And some highlights over here. But I don't know why they didn't do that here. It should have been highlights. And you could definitely see the highlights in the movie. And by the way, I painted my when I was little. But anyway, this is a really good figure also. There's this one. I'll show you in a quick sec. Uh, I'll get a picture of it. Okay, so this is what the Creations Wave 9 one did right. It looks like when Godzilla opens his mouth over the cliff. Look at this. Look at this. This and that. It looks so similar. That's what this figure did, right? From the pose, it's like this slow. Like I'll show you. Like this. It doesn't really look that accurate. Like this. But definitely that's what I just showed you. It's accurate. But um, no about the creation. Let us get back to the mecha. Oops, I keep, I keep doing that because it's not a real tripod. So excuse me if I keep doing that. It's a little wrong of you, but the paint job is still uh, the paint job right here is kind of like that bluish tint that NECA does. Don't know why they do that. Like the '94 does less bluish with stuff, but still you could see it, which I wish they didn't do. But uh, next we going on to detail. The um, is this our the detail is okay. I guess it looks like a rubber suit, so that's good. I'm not gonna bash on this figure. It's pretty good, actually. It's better than a lot of their NECA figures. But the tail detail is not good. They just kind of. Forgot about the tail's detail and what it should have. Like, look, look at this. Why didn't they do this? This is good. This is this is good. And I'm gonna be saying this, but so is this tail. This tail is good too. It has detail, and this is a creation figure. They didn't. They got it right on this one and this one, but not this one. Not that. But uh, that, that's all I can really say for detail. I uh, give the detail a three out of five. You know, I'm going to get a lot of hate because a lot of people like the necklace. And I do too, I guess. Next up is sizing. Uh, I guess this is not accurate, really. Uh, no, this is not accurate. He would have been, like, up to, like... He would have been the same size, like... This. Uh, and then... I mean, these, these guys are roughly the same size. I guess. Oh, uh, to talk about something... Eric King's one keeps slouching down, like it keeps falling over. I've seen his, it just keeps going like that. But I don't know why that doesn't happen with mine. I mean, I like, can slouch when I want him to, but I don't really like him slouching. But, um, let's get some more comparisons. Let's see, we can get these two guys. I know, three guys, I mean, we can do, uh, how about 2,000? Or Mickey Godzilla vs. Mickey Gears. We can do that. And then how about 74? Sought after figure. Boy, rare is my collection. And the tallest of, mostly tallest. And then the uh, Fusion Series 1968 Godzilla. They don't size all that well. I'm going to size them one by one. Start with the 74. 74 size is okay. But they're actually the same size, so that's. Pretty good, because the show goes was all 50 meters. Next, we have not so good sizing. The Fusion series, well, just I can just say Creations. Uh, 68, the BNI Creation 68 Godzilla. I keep saying Creations, even though it's Creation. But creation isn't their real name, it's just BNI. But USA, but that's not the point. Uh, so this guy's a really long neck, so it kind of, yeah, he's too tall. So that's not good sizing. He sizes up good with the uh, Creations 1954. That's awesome. He sizes well up with Godzilla's Mega Gears. Well, actually, no, he doesn't. He'd be like. 
Actually, no, never mind. Actually, I remember them being the same size. Because it was kind of like a reboot, but at the same time it wasn't. And uh, I guess we already showed this guy, but we can size him up with 64. Again, not good sizing. And then, instead of sizing up with another Godzilla, how about we size him up with... Uh, who's uh, that? This is good sizing because this guy is supposed to be the bones inside of this guy, so that's good sizing. He size up well because he, the bones of the original Godzilla are in the Godzilla 3, so that's awesome. Oh, I can't really just get this guy out of the way. Movie Monsters. Wait, actually, I forgot to tell you all the names. Movie Monster Series, uh, um, Godzilla, Kiryu thing. Creations, go do that one. Monster Arts, Bandai Blister Pack, and Gears, Creations, M Movie Monster Series. I am going to do a re-review re for both of these guys. And, oh, by the way, that's the end of the video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Uh, <laughs> Bye.